In this example, we want to pull through the total opening bank balance from this list here. So we can see it's that number there. But we need to somehow do it in such a way that it looks for the title because this could be anywhere. So we're going to use a VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be over here. So we're going to say look at the total opening bank balance. Now because I know I'm going to copy it across and down, I always want it to look at column C. So even if I'm over here, it must look at column C. So I know I need to put a dollar sign in front of the C. The row can move. As I copy it down, I want it to look at row 47, etc. Where must it look for the total opening bank balance? needs to look here in this blue section and we need to highlight everything we may eventually want to pull through and as a general rule these generally have dollar signs everywhere the column index number I know that I want period 2 sorry period 1 which is in column 2 so I'm just going to put a 2 there for now and the range lookup I'm going to say false and when I say OK I get my number 458190, 458190. I should be able to copy it down now. Total receipts 3680. Total receipts 3680. So that's working fine. Now ideally, I'd like to be able to copy it across like that. You'll notice it gives me 458, which is that number there, not there. Why is that? Because remember we've put the column index number as a 2, so it's going and finding the 2 again. So we could put a 3 here, and it will pull through the correct number. But notice above here, I've given you some helper cells. I've got a 2, 3, 4, etc. So instead of typing in 2, 3, 4, why not go in, and where you would have typed a 2, tell it to look at that cell there. Because I'm going to copy it, when I go across, I do want it to go from D to E, so that that can change. But when I copy down, I don't want it to go from 45 to 46, etc. So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the 45. And when I say OK, if I copy it down, I get the same set of numbers. If I copy it across, though, I get this, which is the correct numbers pulled through. Notice now that I can now build a ratio or a formula or a graph that will always find the total receipts and total payments no matter where they are here. So just to show you, if I copy all these formulas now, I take them to the next month where you'll see it's much shorter. When I paste it here, you'll see some numbers come through. Let's check. Total opening bank balance 56, 56, Let's look at the lower one, journal entries processed, minus 28,117, minus 28,117. So you can use VLOOKUP to anchor or make static information that moves around a lot so that you can then build ratios and graphs.